Hello, this is Brian Chin, and in this presentation, we'll be talking about Moscow guppies. Now, the Moscow trait, or gene, is commonly signified by MW. It's a dominant trait and is Y-linked. So within a Moscow line, only the males carry this Moscow trait and for instance, if you use the females from a Moscow line and you cross it to a male that has no Moscow, none of her babies will have the Moscow trait. So if you want to pass on the Moscow trait, use a male. Now this trait, it covers the body with blue iridescence. But in some other strains that are Moscow, it only really shows in the anterior body area. Also, motile melanophores accompanies the Moscow trait, and many of you that have raised Moscows will know when the fish is excited from breeding or is eating, he turns very dark, but at other times he can be very light. Now here's an example of a fish that has some Moscow trait. As you can see, he has a Moscow trait plus blue iridophores. So it gives this cover of you know blue iridescence throughout the whole body. Now, if you add yellow genetics to the Moscow, you will get a green Moscow. And many times people, what they do is to make green Moscow is that they'll cross a blue Moscow to a green female and it gives this kind of results here. Now, if you cross this blue Moscow, for instance, to a purple female that has the PB trait here, purple body trait, it will result in a purple Moscow. Also, if you take a green Moscow and you cross it to a purple female, you will also get purple Moscows. And what happens here is even with the yellow genetics in there, you'll still get a purple. And this particular male was produced by crossing a green Moscow to a female that had PB, purple body. And you can tell this has some green just by looking at this area. You can see the green here and then up here you can see the green. Now with many of the black Moscows that you see, or they call them full blacks, what it generally has is the Moscow trait and midnight. So, for example, I did a cross to a green female, and I got this result here. So, what does that tell you? That tells you that the male must have had some PB in it since, you know, this turned purple. And also, it only has one gene for midnight. So that kind of gives you a hint that to get this black dark color it needs to be homozygous for the midnight gene. Now in this example this fish does have Moscow and you can see it here in the anterior part of the body. It has yellow genetics to give the yellow color and it has snakeskin body also. But this is metal, many times they call this uh, a metal head, but it really is a fish with the Moscow trait and snakeskin body. And here's a experimental cross I did. I crossed a green Moscow to a red female. As you can see here, it shows the anterior body, but the peduncle area, the red 
passed on from the female, pretty much is the dominant phenotype in the peduncle area of this male. And here, I crossed a solid green Moscow male to a female that had the snakeskin tail trait. And as you can see here, all the variegation came through. So that shows that even though the male Moscow solid, crossing it to a female with variegation genetics, it can show up in the phenotype. Now some of the challenges in breeding a solid green Moscow is that often the edge of the tail, as you can see here, becomes variegated. So when you're breeding for a solid tail color, the key is to wait till they're around four months old, depending on your temperature of your tank, four to four and a half months old. It will pretty much tell you if that male is going to get variegation or not. And usually, you know, this is a full grown male, but you'll see a slight edge of this kind of variegation at the edge of the tail. And you should avoid using that male for breeding. And that's what I just mentioned here. Now, they also tend to have, Moscow's in general, tend to have a very rounded corners here. This is an extreme example, but you know, watch out for it when you're breeding your guppies and choosing your males. Try to pick some that have you know, the best corners possible. I would say after many years of breeding, you know, it always still has a slight roundedness and it's very tough to get it to be sharp in green Moscow's. Other lines like metal heads, it's a little bit easier. For related information on breeding Moscow's, I would view the value of the female guppy and breeding green guppies, which is on this YouTube channel. Now, if you're interested in knowing more about breeding guppies, I do have a book on breeding show guppies, and it's offered through Amazon.com. I also have a book on genetics for guppies, if you want to have a deeper understanding on how to breed guppies. And that's also sold by Amazon.com. And visit my website at guppywest.com and it talks a little bit more about my books. And I have lots of guppy photos, especially of at guppy shows. And I have some informative articles. And please subscribe to this YouTube channel. This way you can be notified of future videos that I will post. And thank you.